Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Cowboy Survival. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Free Soldier Tarp. And we're going to take a look at how we can use this tarp to create a shelter for us on the trail. This thing weighs about 2 pounds, 12 ounces, so it's a little heavy for a get-home bag. But for a bug-out bag, this might be exactly what you need to be able to create a nice, comfortable shelter when you're having to spend several nights, perhaps, uh, in the woods or on the trail on the walk home. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this. We're going to set it up in several different configurations and, and so you can see how it, the versatile this thing is. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the bag. So it comes in this nice drawstring bag. Uh, it's pretty well folded. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get this back in the bag. We'll find out. Um, this is brand new. Uh, so here's the tarp. It's made of a ripstop nylon fabric. Uh, it's got some some... Uh, orange binding on the sides. I, I don't know if you can see that. That's going to help you see it in the dim light. Uh, maybe not walk into it because it is camouflage. It is kind of a, a, for, uh, a woodsy green. So we're going to look this out and unfold it now. I'm going to show you the measurements on it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually set it up. So I took this thing out of the pack and I unfolded it. Now, what it came with it is a bag, a little baggie of some paracord. And you can use this, use this, excuse me, to tie to, to create loops for your uh, tie downs. Um, it actually came with some little grommets that you can use to help tie those down and tighten them. Now, in addition, it came with a pouch, a little pouch here. It's got four of these aluminum six-inch tent pegs in them. So that came with the Free Soldier tarp. I probably won't fold these, put these back in the bag, which might make if these things aren't in the bag, it might be, make it easier to fit the tarp back in. Now, the tarp is huge. It's nine and a half feet by nine and a half feet square. Now, actually, if you stretch it, you might get a little more than that, but we'll call it nine and a half feet by nine and a half feet. On each side, there are five grommet loops that you can use. So five loops here that you can use to tie down or stake down your uh, tarp. Along the center ridge line, there's five additional loops that you can use, and you can use those to attach the ridge line uh, of, the tent, of the tarp to your string ridge line that we're going to show you in a moment. So we're going to be able to get a pretty good, uh, a pretty good size uh, shelter out of this. Uh, being as big as it is, it's going to be about 4.75 feet on each side. So that's, that's, that's half of each side. So if I move this thing up four feet, and I've got 4.7 feet uh, down this side, then that's going to create my, um, uh, my, my right triangle for half of my tent. If we use the Pythag Pythagorean theorem, the a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a squared is my bottom, b squared is my straight up and down, and my c squared, my hypotenuse, is the angle part, I've got 4.75 on my c side, I'm going to have four feet on my B side. So if I take the square of the 4.75, subtract the square of the, um, uh, of the four, what I should end up with is a base of about two and a half feet. Um, for that half of the triangle, that, add that it should be about five foot uh, uh, wide shelter that we would have that'd be about four feet tall. That's going to be pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go see what this looks like when we start to set it up. Okay, I've got my ridge line set up. Uh, I've got another video out there that you can see the ridge line and see how I set this up. Uh, so you can go watch. I've got five Prusik loops on this because I've got five loops on the ridge of my tarp. So first thing I'm going to do is find the middle of my tarp. Uh, you could do the end. Well, let's just start with the end. So we'll start with one end of it. It really doesn't matter. And we're going to take find the ridge line loop. It does right in the center. This tarp has got a, a seam down the center, a double stitch seam. This is really that's going to re reinforce this this ridge line. So I'm going to simply take this this Prusik loop, pass it through. Actually, another way I could yeah, I'll just do it that way. Then what I'll do, I'll take I've got a, some sticks I've gathered and put that stick in there. I'll pull that tight. Then I'll go through and do my other one. I'm going to get on the other side of this. I'm going to do these as I come to the Prusik loops. Now they're not tight right now, but that's okay. We're going to tighten them up later. That's the beauty of using the braided bank line on the paracord. Once I get these set up, they don't have to be tight now. As soon as I get them set up, I can pull them out really tight and they will stay um, where I put them. Uh, they will not move because of the way these Prusik loops work and the way this braided bank line will bite down into the paracord. It's not going to damage the paracord, but it's going to bite down so that it's almost like it's glued in place. It's, it's, it's really remarkable how this works. So I've got two more to do, and then we'll tighten this thing up. 
and I'll give you a close-up of how this works. Um, uh, I'll, I'll bring the camera in close once we get it all set up so you can see how I've got these set up. And then we'll actually go about finishing the setup of our tarp. So there's the fourth loop. Here's the fifth one. I'm going to put my end on this. Now the, pro the, the only downside of the A-frame kind of shelter is that uh, this shelter will be open at both ends. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit, could be a little bit of a problem uh, if it's really windy. You want to set this up so that the wind is hitting one of the side or the other. Uh, so I'm going to pull this out tight. I'm going to pull this tight. I can now pull this one tight. I can pull this one tight. I can pull this one tight. And those aren't coming out. Those are in there to stay. And my, my ridge line of my shelter is set up that quickly. So I'm going to shut the video down and then come down and give you a close-up of what we're looking at. And then what we'll do is we'll set it up and I'll show you how we stake out the, the sides. So you can see how I've got the loops on each one of these. I got a loop here and the, the prussic line went through it. I put the stick in there and when I pull on this, you can see it's not going anywhere. It's, it's, it's locked in there nice and tight. Same thing with each of these down this ridge line. So there's the other one. I've got another one down here. It's pulled tight. This one's pulled tight, of course. I got this one right here, which is in the center. I got this one here, and then this one here. So I've got all five of my ridge loops tied down and tightened so that this thing is nice and snug and tight. And now I can stretch out the sides. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this and I'm going to, going to stretch it out. Now I'm not going to stretch it too far. Um, but I am going to stretch it out to give you a, a feel for it. Now, normally what you probably ought to do is put a put a, some some paracord in here so that you can uh, so that this thing you can actually stake it down on a stake. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to actually just put it in the ground. Um, I'm going to use my hatchet to drive it in just a little bit. I'm not putting it all the way down onto the ground right now. I could, um, but what I want to do is I just want to get the corner staked out first. We can tighten it up later. So I'm going to do this corner. This is going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of square footage underneath this thing. I'm going to go do the two back corners now. Ran into my line there. Okay, we'll take this corner. <clears throat> so, what I could do next, I'll just demonstrate it. We could take this center and we can pull this out as well if we want to and that's going to give us a little bit extra space in there and we can do so as we look in this thing you can see there's a lot of space it's about seven feet wide at the base and the reason it's, it's more than I thought there would be is because this is not actually four feet high uh, the, the line on the tree is four feet high, but with the sag in the line, because you're going to get a little bit and a little drop from the line because my, my prussic loops end up a little over three feet uh, is what I've actually got in here, about three feet, four inches. And that's going to give me almost seven feet from side to side, and it's nine and a half feet deep. That's over six, almost 65 square footage of space under cover. That's a lot of square footage. And you can get in this thing, and let, let me go in here and, and actually set this up, and you'll be able to actually see me sitting in it. <clears throat> well, you can see I'm inside. I'm not even halfway in. Let's see if I can get, all, get a little further in. So I'm halfway in now, and uh, you can see I've got plenty of space to sit up. Uh, no problem. I can sit up comfortably. Uh, if I was a little taller, if I took my hat off, I certainly wouldn't brush the top. 
Um, I've got 10 feet or nine and a half feet length here. I can stretch out, no problem, sleep. My feet aren't gonna stick out, my head's not gonna stick out. I've got plenty of space on the sides to store my gear if I need to, so I don't have to leave it outside. Um, I think this would be a really comfortable uh, shelter to sleep in overnight. So I'm gonna do another video where I show you two alternative ways to set this tarp up. Uh, I'm going to show one that's sort of a lean-to style, and then another one that's sort of a, uh, I don't know what you call it, it's, we're going to peg it at one corner, and then we're going to stretch it out so that it sort of stretches out and down toward the ground. It's a really good shelter when there's a lot of wind and you want to uh, keep yourself out of the wind, and so you want to face definitely away from the wind. Uh, it's a really good shelter for that. So uh, we'll look at those two in another video. Well, that was a lot of fun, setting up the Free Soldier Tarp nine and a half feet by nine and a half feet rip stop nylon with five ties down each side five loops and five loops across the ridge line and we saw we are, it was very easy to set up a very large and comfortable a-frame kind of uh, shelter you could easily sleep two people in there if you needed to so if you're thinking about taking this yeah it's two pounds 12 ounces but remember, that would sleep two people. It's not for one person. So one person could take this and one person could take something else. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked it, please click the like button below. Uh, we're shooting for 250 subscribers by Christmas or at least by New Year's. Uh, so we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button down at the bottom so you're notified when we uh, uh, issue new or uh, release new videos. In the meantime, stay strong, stay prepared, have a blessed day. We'll see you soon on Cowboy Survival.